Ladies and gentlemen, our next offering is a dramatic reenactment of the historic incident. The story is true, only the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Our scene opens in medieval times as two wealthy and powerful men, Sir Boris, son of John, Baron of Burrow, and Sir Roger de la Mare, Lord of the Manor, are in discussion. How goes it, Sir Roger? Are the taxes collected in? Though some are, sir, but many are far too poor to pay. Too poor? Mm. How we're meant to remain rich if the money doesn't come from the peasants? Haven't you told them we're all in it together? Many times, sire, many times. But they see your fine carriages and twirl your fine clothes, and I don't think they understand, sir. The peasants could be revolting. I know, I know. Revolting every mm. single one of them. Common bikes, all of them. You misunderstand, my lady. They I mean that there could be an uprising. Marion, you mix with the common yachts. Do you ever see signs of an uprising? Well, my lady, it's a bit embarrassing, but sometimes in the back room of the inn, when I sit in the Close to one of the men, or oh, you might get a little, you know, you stupid girl. I don't mean that. I mean, you need to see signs of the people rising up against us. They're better. I could say, my lady, but I know that lots are not happy that there's no food for children. Spoilt, all of them. Smaller portions, that will make the food go round. Now, there's news. Will somebody send in fry up luck? Today, pray, what news do you have? Good day, my lord, my lady, and to... Yes, yes, man, get on with it. How be the taxes you keep in the strong box in the ale's foot? I've not been able to bring the money today. I've had to leave it at the Priory. Oh. There's rumour there are bandits on the downs, and Ethel's Road is far too dangerous. <laughs> Apparently, the peasants are revolting. Oh, we've already done that one. <laughs> <laughs> I could be assorted by a half-naked, muscular ne'er-do-well. Oh. Money, spelling oh. salt, oh. oh. Right, get some news to the abbot fast. And get the money here quickly. Right away, my lord. I'll send a raven straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Even counting his money. Ah, yes. Mm. In the land of snod. snod. The so called land of milk and honey. Mm. And who is this new bandit? Marion, have you heard of this rogue? Well, come on, girl, speak up. Tell us what you know. Only rumours, my lord. I've only heard rumours. Get on with it, woman. I shall be the judge. Well, there is talk of a borrowed ball for the bandit of Borrowed Downs. Borrowed ball? to outwit this Baron Bob and his bandits and get the money here safely. Yes, what do you have in mind? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Lady Abba portion. Would you leave us now? We have much to do in this house. Certainly. Marion, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have my questions. Oh, oh, yes. So, so Roger, mm. what do you have in mind? Well, Eccles Row is far too dangerous. I know, I know. And Bottom Downs is just as bad. I know, I know. There, you know, there's only one way left to go. Bush, you would! Let's, yes, you heard of it. <laughs> we have it. Anyway, let's go. Yes? We'll soon be saving the tax money. <laughs> and now we visit the local inn.
where we see the oppressed peasants plotting to overthrow the wicked landowners and attempt to get back the money that had been taken from them.
passion you've ever been before. <laughs> I'll do the narration again. Now you can hear me. And so our story reaches its climax. I have the greedy lords successfully claim the tax money from the bank of fries of Alistair. Oh, come on in. Or have the <laughs> peasants led by Robin Sod ambush them and regain their taxes. All will be revealed in our final scene. <laughs> Oh, that bloody bridge is open. <laughs> <laughs> 